I'm Vicki <coughs> Davis, Martin County Supervisor of Elections. Thank you for joining us for Project Vote History. Local residents reflect on memories they have gained over the years regarding public service, the election process, and the importance of voting. Joining me today is Brian Powers from Indian Town. Welcome, Brian. Thank you. Glad yes. to be here. It's, it's great to have you here. And I know you're a lifelong resident of mm -hmm. Indian Town. Mm -hmm. Dad moved to Martin County in 1960, opened his business, and mm -hmm. actually ran for office in 1964. He had not been in Martin County very long. Right. And served for 12 years right. as a commissioner. Any, any memories you can share about dad having served in office, having campaigned, any of those types of memories? Well, we, we were all pretty young. Uh, in, in fact, I wasn't born till 66, but uh, so it came for us later on. But I do remember in the early days, um, you know, anybody that he needed to talk to, we kind of went with him. And I remember sitting on the front porches in uh, Port Salerno from time to time and uh, spent some time uh, in his office back when it was at the old courthouse and uh, you know but it was really I, I grew up and enjoyed the close connection uh, that he had uh, with the constituents um, it was much more of a get in the car and let's go look at what's wrong with yeah. the drainage kind of thing back then and yeah. uh, but learned a lot great memories mm -hmm. um, dad voted all the time. Mm -hmm. His voting record is, is filled with having voted every election when he registered to vote. Did he plant any type of seed within you to and, and your brothers uh, the importance of being registered to vote and actually participating in the process? Yeah, the, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, really that the voting is about more than your vote it's about the process as well you know and about making sure that people are heard and and that their voices are heard beyond their vote and he was very passionate about that very much a people person and uh, um, and that's i think what he instilled in us as much as anything is to try to understand where others are coming from and uh, yeah, and Dad was a great people person. And, he was. And it's carried on into your generation and now into your children because mm -hmm. your children have been very involved in youth and government at yes, South Fork High School as well as yourself. Yes, they have. And how has that um, been important in your family? Well, it's been important for them to understand, again, kind of how that whole process works, mm -hmm. that it's not just about casting your ballot. Um, some of my kids have worked as polling workers, they have. Um, which was very enlightening for them. Um, but beyond that, to understand that, y you know, you can't just say there ought to be a law and you have to have more than just an idea. You have to be well thought out um, has been very positive for them to um, to know that when they have ideas and they're ready to share them with others, they, they need to think through both sides of those. And, and those are all things they've learned. But it's been very empowering to see kids that really didn't want to talk to anybody kind of blossom and, and ready to share their ideas has been really fulfilling. Absolutely. And Youth in Government has been a great partnership with the YMCA. It originated mm -hmm. through the YMCA and then of course, our good friend Stella Bolin right. started it out at South Fork High School, and now it's carrying over into Martin County High School and hopefully Jensen Beach. So yeah. Making I, an impact on our youth. It really has. It's yes. been phenomenal, and I, I appreciate your support of that. Um, we all, the, the things that you've offered, you've offered the real world side. You've taken them out of the classroom, and we're grateful for that because that's really kind of what this becomes for them. Well, our poll workers love having the students mm -hmm. participate. They, they've been a great asset. And thank you for your involvement. Thank you for being here today. You're welcome. And for sharing with our local residents. You're welcome. I'm Vicki Davis. Thanks for joining us for an episode of Project Vote History.